Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sarah Elfeke. I'm a practicing internal medicine doctor here in San Diego and today we're going to continue our talk on blood pressure and we're going to talk about coffee and blood pressure. Why are we talking about blood pressure today? Because there are more than 10 million deaths per year because of blood pressure. And why are we talking about coffee? Well, coffee has good benefits. Coffee has been shown to increase performance and strength training. You could squat up to 100 pounds more when you're squatting or even more than that. Um, but what is the effect on blood pressure? Well, let's start with the coffee. Coffee is a bean or a seed, and it has phenols, and it has things that are protective, and it has caffeine. The effects of coffee in a study has shown that in older adults, more than three cups of coffee a day can increase risk of heart attack and stroke. But there are individual differences in how people metabolize coffee. There are fast metabolizers and there are slow metabolizers. So in a study where they divided the effects of blood pressure and risk of heart attack and stroke in those who metabolize uh, caffeine fast and uh, those who metabolize caffeine slower is, is a better determinant of, of the benefit and risk. So it actually found that people who metabolize caffeine fast, that means you don't get the jitters, you don't have any uh, insomnia, difficulty sleeping when you drink co coffee, and there's a gene that they looked for, it found that actually drinking coffee was protective for your risk of heart attack and stroke. Even if you drink two to three cups a day. But in people who are slow, metabolize, slow metabolizers of caffeine, coffee increased risk of heart attack even with just more than a cup a day. So I personally avoid caffeine because it does affect my sleep. I don't have high blood pressure, but I don't like the way it makes me feel. And I like to be calm and collected at most times in my life. So I personally choose that, but it's, it's up to you. And I just wanted to share that to uh, help you control your blood pressure in natural ways. So if you're a rapid metabolizer, feel free to drink more coffee. That would help with your risk of heart attack and stroke. If you are a slow metabolizer, then I would definitely not drink coffee. I would switch to decaf. And that's how we make individual, like that's how we do individualized care for patients. All right, you guys have a great day.